Greetings grapplers, welcome to Judo for Jiu Jitsu. My name is Larry Keith and this is Brian Powers. And in this video, we're gonna show a couple of options for setting up uh, a bread cutter choke and a bow and arrow variation. All right, so we're gonna start off in the cage tips position here. So Brian has elected to be on his side here. I'm controlling his hips, right? I'm trying to prompt him to turn, maybe give up his back. So he's not taking the bait, he's not gonna turn. So I bring my right hand up from his hip and feed through his arm. So I punch through the hole right here and I get my figure four grip. So it looks like I'm setting up a Kimura, right? So maybe I'm gonna step over and go for a Kimura. But rather than that, sometimes what'll happen is the guy will try to protect his, his arm by locking onto his belt or grabbing his hip, grabbing his pants, something like that. So he's trying to keep me from popping that arm up and over. So from here, the arm goes low. I'm gonna keep control of his hand and I'm gonna flip my hand over so my knuckles go to his wrist right here. And as I do that, I'm gonna grab the belt or the lower lapel, something that's gonna be nice and snug. And I feed it into my hand. And as I feed it into my hand, I pull the slack out of it. So now his arm is pinned there. Right, so this is, he's kind of stuck. So I've seen this called a lot of different things, a Kimura tie off, uh, magic grip. Uh, I learned it as a judo key lock, okay? So now that we're here, this arm is, is totally controlled with my one hand. And a lot of times the bottom guy doesn't even know that I have a free hand. So this free hand is now gonna go thumb in to the lapel, grabbing a nice solid grip, and I'm gonna sprawl back and finish with the bread cutter choke. So that's option one. So let's do that one more time. So we're here, gauge tips, he's protecting himself. I come through the arm, I get my figure four grip, push his arm down or he'll do it for me sometimes. From here, grab the belt. I prefer the lower lapel, because it's, it's tighter, right? So if the lower lapel is below the belt. Grab here, keeps that hand secured to his body. Now I feed in, just like I would for a regular uh, bread cutter choke. Get my grip, sprawl back, and then kind of travel north-south. Finish the strangle. Okay, so option two. From here, feed the hand through, get the grip, get his, get his hand locked to his side right here. Now, rather than going this direction, I'm gonna go under his head, get the lapel, and I'm gonna uh, windshield wiper my legs, and bring my left knee between my arm and his shoulder. And now when I lean back, I push my knee forward for a really nasty version of bow and arrow. All right, so one more time. We're in our cage tips position. I feed my hand up and through. So notice I keep some pressure on him here. Um, for demonstration purposes, I might sit up and show that. But here I keep, I stay heavy. I bring my hand through. I get my figure four grip, feed it down, feed that into my right hand. My, hand, my left hand goes under and around the, the back side of Brian's neck, windshield wiper my legs, bring my left knee between uh, my own shoulder and his shoulder, and then I push with the knee and pull with my hand for the finish. So that is a uh, bread cutter option and a bow and arrow, uh, vicious bow and arrow uh, from a Kimura tie off. So um, that's when we get in that Kimura position, we tie the wrist down with the lower lapel or the belt, and then we have a free hand to do damage to the other person. Thank you for watching this video. If you find value in it, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification tab so you don't miss any future videos. And remember, when you learn a technique, you know one technique. When you learn a concept, you know a thousand techniques. So until next time, we'll see you on the flip side.